hope everybody's having a good Sunday night. It's been a good day. Somewhat warm, somewhat chilly. Otherwise, it's been pretty good. Uh, I'm not used to these kind of temperatures. I want 80 degrees. If I can't have 80, I want at least 75. And 50 at night. That's my favorite kind of weather. So, you know, that's how it goes with the weather. Uh, what well, coming up on this blog tonight will will be I'm gonna be talking more about Kelwins. I hope you don't get hope you don't get old. So you know, me and Wally's gonna be booking the motel on Wednesday. So I just wanna talk more about Kelwins and it should be a satin blog while we're down in Charlotte. So stay tuned for more of the blog coming up next. Okay, we're gonna be talking about Kelwins coming up on the blog. Here is a little sample of what we're going to be talking about. New water park expansion and some other things. Stay tuned for more of the vlog coming up next. Talking about Kelwins tonight. Okay, it's going to be awesome. Talking about the new expansion of the water park, other things, and of course Wally, you know, we, wrote, we uh, hung out that vlog, we went to the outlets. That was funny. He's just getting started. I seriously think it's going to be a good, good blog for people to watch and laugh. Hopefully have a good time out of it. Hopefully get more subscribers, more people watching. And that's, that's, that's what I hope out of it. Um, like I said, uh, when I heard about the Water Park expansion, I was not uh, for it because... Uh, they took down Thunder Road, the uh, roller coaster I like so much, and me and Wally did like it. Uh, it was one of the original rides opened in 1973 when the park opened. So uh, when I looked into more of it, you know, about what it was going to do and different things like that, uh, it kind of, kind of, I kind of got more excitement. So Thunder Road was a good ride. It just kind of beat you up a little bit and swung you in different ways and every, every good thing about it. <laughs> loved it. Loved it. My aunt didn't like it, so I loved it. <laughs> uh, so that was it on that. So it's going to be good. I can't say too much more. It's going to be good, people, to watch. Wally is something. He's funny. He's got stories. He's got this. He's got that. And I think it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a good blog for people to watch. I can't say too more about it, you know. Uh, you just got to watch it. Um, the first blog of Kelwin's will be up probably late Friday and the Saturday morning. Saturday back on schedule Sunday and of course Wednesday of of Kelwin's. Um, trying to film, I'm gonna try to film a lot um, and stuff. And uh, like I said. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be good, and uh, hopefully everybody will watch it and subscribe to my channel and uh, and have a good time out of it. And, and I think I do better, you know. Hopefully, so yeah, it's a interesting time, um, you know, about Kelwins. You know, uh, I just think they need to add some more small rides. You know, um, like a Ferris wheel and a a tilt award, so you know, um, of course, that did not cost that much. So, I guess you know, if they put that in, people would ride it. I mean, they got a uh, scramble and they got a uh, swings and they got a, a, a carousel, you know, in the kids' area. So, uh, uh, you know, I was like some other small rides, would be cool. They got bump cars. I forgot to say that. Mention that. And they got bump cars. You know. So I'm so excited. It's getting there. You know, Wednesday we're going to book the motel, and that should be another good hangout vlog. You know, I'm not. Gonna, I don't think I'm going to call it a, a vlog. I'm going to call it hanging out with Wally. You know, because it's going to be funny. And I hope you can watch it, Tommy. I know you like watching my vlogs. So I hope you like this one. I really do. I'm trying not to be too much boring. I'm just trying to be more excitement to, to bring to you, you know, a uh, good blog and uh, not too much boring. And like I said in the previous blogs, it's been an interesting yard sales, you know, about them Jehovah Witnesses coming to my house and other things. And 
made some money and that's all, that, all about that and uh, trying to be happy and hopefully my knee my knee problems can slowly go away I've been you know I don't mind the pain going come and go so it's been kind of steady so today has been good I can't complain about today knee, knee's been like it's supposed to be doing and that's enough about my personal life so eh, I'll, I'll share some things with you not everything <laughs> Uh, but otherwise, I, I'm feeling good somewhat today, and uh, I just uh, want to come talk to you about Kelwin's trip and, uh, and you know, uh, and other things. So, it's excitement. It's excitement coming up, I'll tell you that. You know, they, they added a Starbucks at Kelwin's, uh, of course, Fury. 325, that's an awesome roller coaster. As long as you sit in the front seat. Sitting in the back's good, sitting in the middle is alright, so sitting in the front is the best. The best. The best. I mean, why? Wally, he, he likes it. I like it the best because it, you know, it seems like it goes faster and uh, it just, you know, swings you back and forth and you can't talk to nobody. <laughs> the wind's hitting you in your face and it's, it's all of its thing, you know? <laughs> ah, what's up? You know, that's how it goes. Um, so, that's pretty much it about that. I might talk more about it tonight. So, stay tuned for more of the blog coming up next. I want to show a story with you. This is a personal story. And my buddy Derek told me I should tell it. So, um, I'm going to tell it. I'm not too ashamed about it. Or, or uh, embarrassed about it. So, okay. I have a vellicose vein problem. I did at one time. I had a problem at one time. Well, well, I had a problem. It happened up hill in Asheville, and it happened down in Charlotte. I had to be took an ambulance. Well, um, me and Wally was planning to go to Kelwins, and of course we went to Kelwins, and uh, uh, Wally said it was going to happen again. I, I, I believe he jinxed. You know, I believe he jinxed the whole, whole idea about it, you know, happening again. Okay, here what ha here's what happened. Here's my s story about it. Okay. Uh, we was in the water park, you know, having a good time. No pain or nothing like that was going on. You know, last time I had chest pains. This time I didn't have no chest pains. Um, you know, so we was all... Having a good time in the water park, and uh, we've got on these, one of these water slides. And, you know, you're supposed to put your hands behind your back and cross, cross your legs. And uh, Derek said he couldn't, really, he couldn't figure out why they said to do that. So that's what, that's what lifeguards said. Well, you know, that's what I tried to do, and, you know, Wally did it too. You know, I don't think, I don't know if I went down first or Wally went down first to the slide. So, oh, man, it was dark. And that, that tunnel was dark, and the water was hitting my face, and, um, um, you know, and stuff, and, uh, I felt like I was drowning. That's the problem, you know, I felt like I was drowning because the water was hitting my face. I bumped my head, bumped my elbow, and bumped my bad leg. But, you know, I, well, how I feel it happened again is by me hitting my leg and feeling like I'm drowning it brought my blood pressure up and that's what I think what happened you know by hitting my leg and feeling like I was drowning well we got off the ride and I asked Wally uh, Wally said he bumped himself too so you know, we, they can beat you up I was heading back to the locker room locker room shower you know bathroom um you know it was one of them stalls dry off and of course, like I said, beginning, I think Wally jinxed, jinxed the trip. Of course, I started noticing some blood. Not trying to, not trying to, um, uh, not trying to freak nobody out about blood or gross anybody out. So, started noticing blood. I said, Wally, I got a problem. He said, what? You know, uh, he said, and then he, he, he looked at it, saw it, I mean, and, uh, and uh, he went and got some help. And I've had other, I had other strangers, this guy and these kids asking if I was alright. And, and uh, 
Well, I got a woman, you know, because I was a burris. When I opened the stall door, I was white and faced burris. While he claims I didn't have nothing around me. I, I, I mean, I, I, you know, I had a towel around me. That's how I feel. So while, he, while he claims to the day I didn't have nothing around me, and that woman said, please put a towel around you. And uh, uh, so I don't know. I mean, I think I had a towel around me. So, you know. Um, and uh, they wanted me, they wanted me to uh, go up to the first aid station in a wheelchair with just a red towel around me. I, I said, no. I said, I told him, I said, no. Uh, you need to put pressure on it. You need to, you need to, you know, put pressure on it. I need to put clothes on. I done been embarrassed enough. And I tell them I'm sorry. And they said, Don't don't worry. We're, we're more concerned about you. You you more you know, you we're more concerned about you. Don't worry, we'll clean up the mess. So, you know, he fixed my leg, got my clothes on, wheeled me up to the first aid station. I me and Wally's always passed it. I always passed it. This time I had to use it. It's like a little small hospital and well before I got there. They took my blood pressure in the locker room, so you know they took my blood pressure up there, and uh, and they want me to go to the hospital in the locker room. And, and uh, I said, as long as you can take me to a North Carolina hospital, my insurance take up. And they said, well, the closest hospital to us is South Charlotte. I said, Great, load me up. I basically said, you know, and uh, got loaded up in ambulance at the four state thing behind there. You know, I, I didn't think I was getting. I didn't think. I was gonna get loaded up at a theme park. I got loaded up at my job in Amherst. Now I got loaded up in, in Amherst down at down at theme park. So that's something. I've been to Amherst two times, two two experiences now about that. And I I, I strike a conversation up, you know. I I'm the kind of person I'm not too be too shy around people. And uh, they that woman said um, asked her she she. Uh, uh, about Mission Hospital, and she said no. And then we said we're talking about Asheville, Mountain County. She said she heard about Mountain County. So, and then got to the hospital. Now here's this. Here's this. And Wally, they gave him directions to get to the hospital. You know, and get to the hospital. And he supposed to went to that locker and got my stuff. And they supposed to gave him directions to the hospital. You know, at the time I'm getting loaded. I'm getting to the hospital and getting loaded. You know, getting off the ambulance and going to the hospital. And he's supposed to be meeting me over there, and you know, uh, uh, you know, he gets lost. He has to stop at a 7 Eleven store and ask some woman from India to how to get to the hospital. And uh, he gets, you know, he gets lost now, you know. And then she helps him get on the back on the right path to get to the hospital. And, uh, and uh, and stuff, and I I just uh, you know uh, I'm at the hospital. I'm in the room, and they they told me I was gonna get a room with a bathroom, and hey, I was hey, I'm not complaining. You know, normally at my hospital in Asheville Mission, they have the ba room bathrooms in the hallway, and until you get like a minute in the hospital, you have a room in the room. So I hey, I'm not complaining with a bathroom in a room. And uh, my private bathroom, and then of course they had cable TV. And while I was waiting on everybody, and, and while they're getting lost, and then anyway, while he finally gets to the hospital, now here's this: he gets to the hospital. He don't even know my last name. He knows Jason Scott, so he don't even know my last name. And uh, and that's 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 funny, you know. He think he got stuff on me, and then you know. Back to my thing, um, they made him say it 10 minutes before they let him go back. They could not let him go back. Um, and stuff, and uh, you know, I'm, uh, the, the nurse was a woman, and the woman, there was a woman who took my insurance as a woman, the doctor was a woman, there was a manager who, uh, who uh, uh, was wanting to make sure everything was alright, she was a woman. I finally got uh, when she got you know dis you know if I got discharged, you know while he was telling that doctor I was not doing what I was supposed to about wearing them hose, you know, and stuff and was that big conversation about that you know the um, they're not penny hose but they're hose you know, um, and uh, you know for my leg vein problem, 
And, uh, you know, and then the guy who wrapped my leg, not, and I, I stress this big. I stress this big. I, I'm not trying to thin nobody. And this is, this is a true story. I'm not trying to thin nobody. My buddy Wally now, he, he's different than I am. He said the guy was gay. And, uh, you know, I don't have an issue with that. I don't have, I'm going to put that out on the record. I don't have an issue with him. So that's what he said. That's what he said. And uh, today, you know, and of course, you know, you know, I don't have an issue with, as long as he's, as long as that person's doing the job and not doing anything else, I'm fine. I'm fine. You know, I'm fine with that. So, you know, I just want to tell, I just want to make up something up. I want to tell the whole story. So, um, Yep, and then uh, he was a nice guy, very nice guy. You know, I'm not, I'm not trying to be nothing. You know, I'm trying to be a good person. You know, and uh, and uh, and stuff. So, um, we finally left the hospital. I told Wally because we don't, we don't spend a lot of money at the motel. I said, I said we're gonna go to TJ Fridays and get some food. And before we went in, I called my aunt and told her what happened. And uh. Now, if I called my uncle, he told me to go home. And uh, and she said, as long as you took it easy the next day, you'd be fine. So we went to TJ Friday's, and after that, I said, we're going to go to Target. I'm going to get some waterproof band-aids, and we're going to go to Carowinds next day because we didn't spend too much money. I took my aunt's advice, and uh, and we went back to Carowinds, and we had a good day, got in the rides, carefully got out, and nothing else happened until I got back to Asheville and got the problem fixed. And that's basically the end story of the Kelwin's incident with my leg, the Velico's veins problem I had. So I hope you enjoyed the story of my personal life. Stay tuned for more blog coming up next. That's the end of the blog. I hope you enjoyed my story when I had what happened to Kelwin's. Hope you enjoyed me talking about Kelwin's, what's going to go on, and all this good stuff. Uh, you know, I hope you liked it. If you liked it, hit the like button. Please give me a comment. Give me some good ideas. You know, I'm up for anything. Please subscribe. It don't, it don't cost nothing to subscribe. And, uh, till next time, you take care. Bye now.